Uh, hi everyone, and uh, let's have this interesting nodal uh, question. Uh, in this question, uh, we have the reference point has been already assigned to us. As I mentioned, sometimes it is assigned, sometimes you need to assign it yourself. So here it's assigned, but again, it follows the uh, rules we mentioned that it is connected to the negative uh, terminal of the voltage supply. So this is my reference. This is V is equal to, to zero. Now, the question is asking us to find V1 and V2 using nodal analysis. Okay. And basically, this is one node, which is V1. This is another node, V2. And we have here another node, which is, you can call it V, V3. Okay, so one thing we learned in the previous example that we cannot apply KCL to any node that has a voltage supply. Okay, so node number one or V1 is connected to this dependent voltage supply. Node two is connected also to a node that has a, a voltage supply. Node three, also is connected to a node that has a voltage supply. So I cannot actually apply KCL to any of the nodes in that question. This is to start with. Okay. Another thing that we learned that, okay, V3 actually is known to us. This is equal to 60 volt. So this node is already known to me. So now I have two unknowns, V1 and V2. So how many equations do I need? I need two equations to be able to solve. Okay, now this type of problems is different than what we have, which is the following, or the difference is the following. I have a voltage supply between two nodes and none of them is a ground. I cannot actually uh, connect to this supply to a ground because I already have another supply which has a ground. So whenever I have two voltage sources, I am stuck. One will have a ground, the other one will not have a ground. Okay. But uh, we can uh, handle this question using the following uh, procedure. The first thing is that the voltage difference between V1 minus V2 which is the voltage difference between this point and this point is actually this voltage supply. Now, remember, this is a voltage supply. This is not a current supply, although it depends on a current, but this is a voltage source. And how do I know? Because the plus minus sign. So this is a voltage supply. So V1 minus V2 is equal to what? Is equal to 5 i x and this is my first equation now i am adding another unknown so now i have three unknowns i want to get rid of i x but what is i x i x is the current that goes from the reference to v1 so your i x basically is your zero volt minus the v1 divided by the resistance in between which is the four plus six so it's equal to minus v1 divided by 10 and this is number two so now i'd like to eliminate ix from one so i will substitute two equation two in in one so coming here so we'll have v1 minus v2 equal to five times I x, which is minus V1 divided by 10, which is equal to minus V1 divided by, by 2. So I will multiply the whole thing by 2, the whole equation by 2. So we'll have 2 V1 minus V2 equal to 2 times minus V1 divided by 2. This will cancel. So we will have 2 V1 minus 2 V2 equal to minus v1 or move this to the other side you will have 3 v1 minus 2 v2 equal to 0 and this is your equation number number 3 and this is one equation with two unknowns okay i need one more equation 
how to get this equation. This equation, we will use a new concept that we did not use it before, which is the concept of super node. Whenever you have a voltage supply between two nodes, okay, you can consider this voltage supply, all of it as one giant node, meaning that you can consider all of this as one big node. All of this is a big node. Okay, I don't care what is inside. So as if this is just a dot, a big dot. Okay, so this is what I call the super, super node. Okay, now we can apply KCL to the super node. Why? Because now V1, this is, look to this as just a big dot, big node. Okay, so V1 is connected to this. To the ground and is connected to v3 which is 60 volt v1 is connected to the ground and to the current source and that's it and this is just like a giant big big node so we will apply kcl to the super super node okay we'll assume the currents are leaving again forget about ix as if it doesn't exist Okay, so we will assume the current is leaving, the current is leaving, the current is, is leaving, but remember, for the current source, we cannot touch it. Okay, so the current that goes here uh, from V1, which is uh, V1 minus 0 divided by 4 plus 6, which is 10 plus. This current is leaving is equal to plus v2 minus 0 divided by 20 plus this current is going to the leaving going to the right which is v2 minus 60 divided by 20. am i done no remember this this is the current source so this is entering so this is equal to equal to 5. okay i will multiply the whole equation by 20 so this is the least uh, common uh, denominator so i will have 20 times all of this so we'll have uh, 20 times V1 divided by 10 plus 20 times V2 divided by 20 plus 20 times V2 minus 60 divided by 20 equal to 20 times 5. This will cancel, cancel. This becomes 2. So we have here 2V1. Two, uh, V uh, two V1. This becomes 2. 2v1 and uh, what we will have here we have uh, v2 and another uh, v2 so it's plus 2v2 equal to 100 and this is my equation number number four okay so i will have these two uh, equations let's now solve them Okay, now it becomes math, nothing else. I mean, here, circuit is done. I have two equations with two unknowns, and now I can solve them. So let me rewrite the two equations again. 3V1 minus 2V2 equal to 0. This is the first equation. And the second equation is 2V1 plus 2V2 is equal to 1, 160. So clearly, if I add these two, I will eliminate V2. So we'll have 5V1 is equal to 160. So from this, your V1 is equal to 160 divided by 5, which is equal to 32 volts. So I'm done with the uh, v1 uh, what i need to find is your uh, v2 so from this equation you can say that your v2 is equal to 3 over 2 times v1 or equal to 3 over 2 times 32 now this is 16 so this is equal to 40 48 volt with this I'm done with that with the problem. So here we learn something new. If you have a voltage source between two nodes, you can introduce or you can solve this problem using the concept of a super node, which is a node that combines more than one one 